welcome to CMM News. Today, we would like to start off by introducing our raffle winner from last week. Introducing Sarah Katz. <laughs> Sarah, would you be so kind as to tell us what is the name of this week's Parsha and what happens in it? This week's Torah portion is Parsha's Nesso, which tells us about the counting of the Levian, the tribe of Levi. Shabbat Shalom to everyone. Thank you, Sarah. As we just heard, this week is Parshas Naso, and we learn that Hashem counted the Levim. The Levim, as we all know, Yaakov had 12 sons, and one of his sons' name was Levi. Levi's whole family were called Levim, and they worked in the Beis HaMikdash. So we learn in this Parsha that Hashem counted the Levim. And if any of you have at home a collection or something that you like a lot, maybe if it's even cookies, and if you make cookies one day, and you might keep on counting how many you have left because you love your cookies and they're precious to you. That is why Hashem counted the Levim, because He loves all of us so much and we are so precious to Him, so He keeps and keeps on counting us. Let's make something yummy connected to this message. Welcome to Colorful Cook's Kitchen. Today, we are going to be decorating diamond cookies. You will need a cookie, marshmallow fluff, chocolate frosting, and some sprinkles for decoration. So, you can choose one of two options today. Either you can do a really cool fancy design that I'm gonna show you, or you can just have fun and put on sprinkles and decorations and stuff like that. So your first step, I'm gonna show you how to make the fancy design. So your first step is gonna be to take your marshmallow fluff that you bought on your package and you're gonna spread it on your diamond cookie. Now that your cookie is covered in marshmallow fluff, we're gonna go on to the next step. You're gonna to have to take a toothpick you got and the way it works is we're gonna be making like a kind of heart design on it and you get some frosting on your toothpick and you're going to kind of put it on line shapes or like ovals into your marshmallow fluff. Now that you've got your lines of chocolate all around your cookie, you're going to take your second toothpick and you're going to use it to make lines going through your chocolate frosting. Now we have a really pretty diamond cookie that's decorated with hearts. Reminder, when you make your little chocolate stuff, make sure it's in the shape of a circle so it comes out looking like a real heart because mine are kind of like lines and they don't all look like hearts. But even if it doesn't work, you have a really yummy cookie now, so I hope you enjoy. And if you don't want to go for this fancy option, you can just take your sprinkles or any decorations you have in your house and you can just decorate your cookies for fun. I hope you enjoy. Take a bite. And don't forget to remember why we made these diamond cookies. It's because in this week's Parsha, Hashem counted the Levim again. And when someone counts something over and over, it shows how much they love it and how precious it is to them. So diamonds are really precious. And Hashem loves us just like anyone else might like diamonds. Welcome back to the studio. I hope you enjoyed that really awesome, colorful cook. And I hope you also know how it connects to this week's Parsha. Now, we have something really exciting to share. Every week in your package, from now on, not only will you get colorful cook ingredients, you will also get a coloring sheet and a little prize. The coloring sheet will have a Torah message. And every week in the video, we're gonna be learning a Torah message that will be the same as what's on your coloring sheet and the prize connected to it. So we have these Torah messages in a cool book. Let's get it. This book is called, You Have Power. And in it, there are 12 messages about the Torah. Let's open up to the first one that will be for this week. It says, Torah Siva Lanu Moshe Morasha Kehila Yaakov. This means that the Torah that Moshe commanded us is an inheritance for all the people of the nation of Yaakov. 
This basically means that the Torah belongs to all of us, to me and you. And there's also a little picture, and there's people saying the Torah belongs to me, because the Torah belongs to all of us. So you can color in your sheet, and you can have fun with that and your special surprise that will be in there with it. And now for the question of the week. The question is, why did Hashem count the Jews and Levium again? Important reminder, in order to be in the raffle, your answer has to be given in before 1 o'clock on Friday. The raffle is going to be at 1.30. Good luck! That's it for this week. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you come back next week. Enjoy!